Hello everybody, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to this quick video series on Payday 2. I wanted to make this now that Crime Fest is over and there's a lot of new players joining the game. This will be a quick primer on the various skills or classes in the game to help new players get into things. As you can see, I already have a lot of my skills assigned, but don't pay too much attention to what I have just yet. This build I'm working on is a work in progress. For expert players watching this, I probably won't be telling you anything that you don't already know. This is mainly going to be for the new players. So let's get into this. We're going to start with the Mastermind. Mastermind is your... It's definitely the group support class. You're not going to be doing too much craziness, but you're designed to help the rest of your team keep going. And the first thing you get is the doctor's bag. The doctor bag basically fully restores someone health and it will restore their quote unquote downs. Every time you run out of health and you're basically left on the ground, someone has to pick you up, you have three strikes. After that third strike, if you run out of health again, you'll be taken to the custody. The doctor bag will reset that. And it's good player manners to basically only use a doctor bag if you're either really, really close to dying, like 0 or 1% health left, or if you're on your third down, because you can't really waste these, especially if you're playing this on Overkill or Deathwish. Once you put a point of this, you then have these three rows of skills. Now, you don't have to go up them in any particular order. I can just go straight up here, I can go here, 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 here. Basically, it's limited by the amount of points you have in each tier. So here's tier 1, 2, 3, etc. Now you'll notice that the numbers here are going to be slightly different for new players. This is because I'm pretty high up in the infamy or prestige mode of pay 2, so I have a discount on how many points I need to get to the top. But I can still go over these skills. First cable guy, this lets you, as you can see, get more cable ties, and you can cable tie hostages a lot faster. This is one of those go-to skills that chances are you're going to get unless you're making a very specific build. Combat met, as you can see, it will let and uh, when you revive a character, they'll take 25%. Uh, they'll do 25% more damage you will for 10 seconds and if you max it out when you revive them you'll give them 30% more health that's very important for a death wish when reviving characters come back with far less health endurance another really good one increases your stamina which allows you to run a lot longer and the max one increases it for everyone by an additional 50% it's just a very great skill, especially if you're going to go for wearing a lot of armor. Tier 2, Control Freak. The first point, civilians remain intimidated 50% longer. That means that they will stay down on the ground and they will not call for help. And putting one point into it means that by shooting your gun that's on silence, they will get down on the ground so you don't have to keep yelling at them. Number The Ace version unlocks special assets for certain jobs that will require them. These are usually ones that uh, maybe will leave a key card or a door open or stuff like that and it's basically job specific. Painkillers first point you can see crew members take 10% less damage for 5 seconds after you revive them. You get the full max, it'll go up to 25%. This basically means that if you get someone up they'll take less damage, so hopefully this will give them time to get out of the way. Leadership it improves the crew's stability with pistols by 4, and then the max improves stability with all weapons. Stability, I believe, the last time I checked, it controls your accuracy while you're moving. So, if you're standing still and shooting a gun, or if you're running or walking and shooting, you get two different accuracies. Stability basically makes it a lot easier to shoot while moving. So this can be very useful if you're trying to get around and kill enemies. But accuracy will still determine how well you can shoot at someone normally. We move up to Spotter. 
basic lets you mark enemies. This is done by hitting the, I believe the F key, I think it's that's default. It will basically highlight enemy, they'll be bright red, and they'll take 15% more damage from anyone. Number, the ace one gets you the spotter asset. Spotter basically lets you mark enemies during stealth. Someone will, basically an NPC will be doing it automatically. It's a good skill, but if you need points, it's not the best one to put that into. At least the basic one gives you a all, excuse me, an all around great bonus. Equilibrium. First point, as you can see, increases the accuracy of the pistol and the speed that you can put and pull the gun out. So this means when you're switching weapons, you'll pull out your pistol quicker or you'll pull it away quicker. And then the ace one increases the firing rate. Really great one if you're going down the pistol line. Dominator lets you take enemies as hostages. This only works on the police officers, not the special ones. So Taser, Bulldozer, Cloaker, those guys. Oh, and the shield, obviously. The Ace one increases the range. This is very important for a higher skill, which we'll talk about in a minute. Stockholm Syndrome gives you a chance of civilians reviving you with you reviving you if you interact with them while you're on the ground and then the ace one gives you ammo this is considered to be an all-around horrible skill most people don't take this one because it's just too specific of a use especially if you're doing LAL missions where you may not have civilians nearby combat doctor increases the amount of charges as well as the amount of doctor bags that you have if you're going to be helping people out with healing them this is a pretty good skill to get. Joker. This is a very special skill. As you can see, if you take an enemy hostage through Dominator, you can then convert them to help you. You can't do it while it's stealth, obviously. And it's one person can convert one character at a time. So you have at most four. The Ace version increases the amount of health and the damage they do. This basically gives them more survivability. And if you're going to use these guys on Deathwish, you pretty much need these skills to boost their survivability. They're just going to die immediately. Which takes you to the partner in crime. This not only makes them take less damage, but it gives you bonuses for having a converted character. You can see the basic one, 10% of movement speed. And then the ace one increases your health. Again, if you're going to go Death Wish and you want to have these characters, these two max are pretty much a given. Gunslinger. Now we're getting to a really good skill. As you can see, the basic one increases your re reload speed by 50%, and the ace one gives you 15 more points of damage. Now, with the recent weapon rebounds, pistols already do a lot of damage to begin with, especially the Deagle and the Bronco. This just takes it over the top. And if you're going to go pistols, especially if you're going to be dual wielding, which we'll talk about in an upcoming video, this is a must-have to get. Kilmer, if you're going to be using assault rifles or sniper rifles, this is another really good one to get. Basic one increases your reload speed. The advanced one gives you accuracy while moving and lets you run and reload your weapons. This means that you don't have to stop or start walking to reload, you can just run and reload and then immediately turn around and fire. Ace one is great to have, but I found the base one to be better if you need to hold on to your points. Hostage taker. You can see this one means whenever you have a hostage or your group has a hostage, you'll recover health every five seconds. This is a skill that is debatable in its usage. It's very specific, obviously, but having this on basically means that it'll make you very hard to kill, which in turn means that you'll be able to help out your crew more. The problem, though, is that the skill only works for you. So it does limit its utility somewhat. If you're going to go all in on the Mastermind, it may be good to have, but there a lot of builds don't tend to focus on this. Pistol Messiah. This is another great support skill and it works with your pistols or it synergizes. 
as you can see, what happens is if you kill an enemy while you're incapacitated or you're bleeding out with a pistol, you'll immediately get up. No one has to help you. And with the basic one, you get one charge. With the advanced one, you get a total of three. This essentially means that if, let's say, your whole crew goes down and you have a pistol, you'll have a chance of getting yourself back up and hopefully helping everyone else get up. Again, if you're going for pistols, this is great to have even just the basic one. And lastly, Inspire, which is considered one of the top tier skills in the entire game. The basic one lets you revive members 50% faster and increases their movement speed. And I believe it may also increase their reload speed by 20% for 10 seconds. And then the Ace version lets you actually shout people up, getting them up immediately. As you can tell, this is godly when you're playing on Deathwish. It allows someone to basically run around, yell everyone up, and basically get them up in a fraction of the time that you would normally. And when you're playing on Deathwish and you have enemies like the Skulldozers closing in and everyone's down, this is a great skill to have that can turn things around basically and hopefully get you back in. Chances are you're going up the Mastermind skill, you're going to want this one ace. And it is also works well with some other skills in terms of making you more survivable while you have a chance of inspiring them. But chances are, as I said, uh, this is a gimme. So to quickly recap, we'll just go over some skills that are just really good to have. Endurance, yes. Spotter is alright. Equilibrium, again, if you're going pistols, you want this one, Gunslinger, and maybe even Pistol Messiah. If you want to help your crew out, obviously you want the Doctor Bag, Combat Meg, Painkillers, and Combat Doctor. For offense, Kilmer is really good. If you're going to be taking hostages or converting cops, you definitely want to get these three. And of course, Inspire is pretty much always good. I mean, it really is always good. There's never a situation where you don't want this. Even if the other three people on your crew have Inspire, four people with Inspire means that you'll be very easily able to get back up and fight if there's trouble. So that will do it for the Mastermind. Next up we'll talk about the Enforcer in another quick video. Thanks for watching. Please uh, be sure to check out GameHypenWisdom.com for posts and podcasts, and of course the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. And if you enjoy this one and want to see more videos, please like and subscribe, it will help me out a lot. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another one in a real soon. Take care.